Welcome to the 51st annual International Trombone Festival and welcome to the sunny surroundings of the University of Central Arkansas. We're here for a jam-packed few days of concerts, recitals, masterclasses, showcases, lectures from artists, presenters and ensembles from all corners of the world. Almost 900 participants have descended on these fantastic facilities from all around the world. And we're going to take a look now at this amazing festival. Each ITF is hosted at a different institution around the world. This year, in the University of Central Arkansas, it was hosted by Justin Cook and Chris Sharp, and I had a chance to catch up with Justin to chat a little bit more. This is not a part of the country that generally has these kinds of events. You know, people think of international festivals being in New York or LA or in big cities in Europe. And so to have them um, in small towns in middle America, in small towns in Europe, I think that's part of what makes this international is that it's it's literally everyone. It's and it's and it's everywhere. And everywhere that there's been an international trombone festival, it's left a footprint for years. People in that area um, get to experience Martin Skippers and Peter Steiner. Uh, Brian Hecht for the first time and, and that leaves a lasting impression on that area and it elevates the, the, the level of trombone playing in that area and it's I, I remember watching it happen in Muncie and it's and it's happening here. Um, the response here has been unbelievable. ITF is all about diversity and inclusion, and the famous artists we have from all over the world cover all genres of music. We managed to catch up with a few of them to hear their thoughts about the ITF. Uh, it's my first time, believe it or not, uh, attending the ITF convention festival. Uh, and I've looked forward to this for months, and it's just so rewarding to, you know, be with some old friends, make some new friends, uh, so many talented students, uh, teachers, uh, trombonists, and talented musicians from all over the world and all over the country. It's, it's just delightful, yeah. The ITF is pretty much the place where all trombonists meet this one time in the year and just exchange thoughts. There's exhibitions where you can see different instruments. There's sheet music there, mouthpieces, mutes. You hear some of the best playing in the world. International artists like me get to come here to ITF. There's a lot of American artists as well, Asian artists, European, just from everywhere. It's just, yeah, all trombonists here. It's super cool just to be in this environment, getting inspired by others, hopefully also inspiring others to do uh, some fun things on trombone. It's just. Yeah, it's just a wonderful time to be here. I think it's great. I've found lots of new friends, and I really think it's so fun to meet trombone players from all over the world. The opportunity to not only hear different trombonists from all around the world, but it's a seriously high level, and everyone is you know, striving to be their best and also to check everything out. So it's a great sense of fellowship and community. <laughs> A huge element at every International Trombone Festival is the Youth Workshop, where students come and spend a few intensive days study with the biggest artists in the world, an experience you won't find anywhere else or at any other festival. What is great about the ITF is also there's this Youth Workshop. There's so many young people walking through the halls here, walking through the building, being in the recitals, being at the concerts at night. You see them, they're super inspired. They go to the exhibits, they see instruments that they have never seen before, never had the chance to try to just put their hands on it. It's so cool. And then, yeah, just all ages are here, which is really neat. It's just a big variety of people. As an artist, it's really cool to be, you know, going out after the concert and seeing your followers, your fans, people that, that you inspire apparently, which is really, really neat. At 
every international trombone festival, one of the main highlights for a lot of people is the exhibit hall, where it's amazing to have all the big and small companies from all over the world, where you can try every single make of trombone, mouthpiece, and discover all the latest accessories and brand new gadgets and gizmos. Every evening at the ITF we have headline performances and we're so lucky to have the Reynolds Performance Hall where these huge memorable events take place. Let's look at some clips. Everything is organized very well. Uh, there's a lot going on, so it's hard to keep up with. And it's just trombone, trombone, and trombone, and more trombone. I think the ITF was just hosted again brilliantly, as usual. The team is, you know, they always do this in a very, very organized and structured way. We artists, we get emails month in advance of all the forms we have to fill out, all the paperwork that needs to be done. I want to congratulate the ITA, the ITF, everybody that is involved, the staff, the members, the host and the co-host for doing such a, an amazing job. Thank you. A very new addition to the ITF is Trombone TV, where anyone who can't get to the ITF can watch the live stream all day, every day. And in between every concert, we have exclusive content and interviews and behind the scenes footage. This year, it was presented by Christopher Bill, Chris Van Hoff, and myself. It was a lot of fun to do. And we got to interview presenters, artists, staff, and attendees, each with unique perspectives of the ITF. Once a year, I see all of you. Carol Jarvis is right here, she's in. Put your camera on her real quick look at her look look see <laughs> yeah she's smiling this is how it is every year i see them about maybe for a week once a year and then the next time it's like it was just like yesterday and then you're what's up hey what's up oh my gosh hugs yeah i'm telling you come out itf support everyone this is incredible oh man I'm on camera. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> One day, I even managed to interview whilst driving on a golf buggy around this amazing university. Just, OK, here we go. <laughs> OK, we're rolling backwards now. <laughs> we had a small explosion. It's OK. Uh, we had a small explosion, but we're just going to stay here and carry anyway. We've only got one minute left. Um, so if, even if we're stopping here, we'll carry Oh, oh we're still oh, going. There oh, we go. It's the small, magic, the magic yeah, part. Yeah, we, we just keep going. It's like we stall. We have a small explosion, <laughs> but we're still alive. We're still here. Hey, look what's going on here. So this is the kind of campus we're in. Um, this is uh, University of Central Arkansas. And we're still in the campus. It's just enormous here. Yep. It's a beautiful and big place, yeah. Now that we're here, it's been smooth, it's been a great festival, the response has been incredible. It's joy and relief that 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 we could have this incredible event here. And it has proved to me that you can have a festival anywhere. Uh, if the facilities are big enough and the town is big enough, um, we can, and the host is willing to do the work, we can have the festival anywhere because it's about the people. It's about the hang. It's about getting a thousand trombone players into um, a venue and just having a, a great time celebrating trombone over four days.
Well, we hope you enjoyed the International Trombone Festival 2022. Next year's festival will be held in Salt Lake City in Utah from the 12th to the 15th of July. And we hope to see you there.